In this section, we're going to talk about automations. Automations is a very powerful tool to make your life easier as a manager. This include anything from sending automated messages to guests, helping with price, doing answering machine services, automated payments, as well as leaving Airbnb reviews or grabbing emails and other functionality. Fantastic Stay offers a dashboard in the reservation lifecycle that allows you to go there and look at any section of the automations process. For example, let's look into automated messages. If you click in here, you'll see all of your automated messages in one location. This allows you to see everything that you have and be able to edit anything that you need to. You can add new from right here. If you prefer, you can actually go into the listing itself and then go to the automation section of that listing then click on automated messages here. It'll take you to something like this and this will show you all the automated messages that apply for that specific listing. And you can also add new directly from here. Automated messages is a really powerful and advanced tool that has a lot of flexibility for you to be able to create custom messages to different guests that can trigger at different times. For example, you can just create a name here for something, but you can also have this trigger be a very detailed situation. For example, you can have it after a checkout, by days, like three days after a checkout. You could have it be on issuance of a refund. Maybe you want to be at, a, at the time of refund. You could also have, if there's an inquiry, a specific inquiry, that has like a specific keyword that just says like cleanliness, you can even do that. In addition, you can have additional filters here. These are basically additional ways to trigger the automated message. One example is, let's say you want to, on a new reservation, you want that to know if the guest is checking in for more for seven nights or more. You can do the filter just like this. The to field allows you to send it directly to the guests or to someone else. For example, if you want to send to your ground operations team, or maybe you have a, a reservations team where you want to know if a reservation is canceled, you want to send that to them. You can send it via email or SMS. Um, if it's on the guest, you can also send via the booking channel. Templates. You can have predefined templates allows you to just create this and it'll just automatically populate some text. And then you're able to set any number of listings that you have can apply to this message. One of the most powerful tools for automated messages is the ability to support dynamic variables. In this section here, you'll see a list of all the dynamic variables that you're able to use. In addition to this, you're also able to reference any custom fields you have as a dynamic variable as well, which is a really, really powerful tool and allows you to create custom things. For example, let's say you want to know if the guest email has been coming in, and then maybe you want to send the guest an email. Oops. And you can have it be like, welcome to your reservation. And then you can have some text here. You can apply it to different things, and you can also save the changes. Let's say you want to reference the guest's first name directly. You can just use guest first name, and you'd be like, hi, guest name. And you can have some more text here, and then follow along. Let's say you have a custom field that you want to use. Um, you'd have to first identify the custom fields, but then you can also add that into your text messages. You can include this in your subject line as well. Like, for example, if you want to say, hey, here's your check-in time. You can just easily, quickly reference it like so. So let's look at some examples of how you may use automated messages. Let's say you want to remind the guests to leave your review. But you only want to do this if the guest hasn't already left your review. So something you could do is say, you know, maybe after their checkout, 
Uh, let's say you might want to remind them like a few days after. But you only want to do it if the guest has not left your review yet. So you do something like this. And you probably want to message them on the platform and say something like, hi, guest name. It would be great if you could leave me a review if you had a great stay or something like that. You can customize the message however you want. Another example is let's say you have a guest that is going to be coming and they're going to need to use the sofa bed. Let's say you have a two bedroom and you have a sofa bed and the guest is going to have like five or more guests, right? So what you could do is you could say at the time of new accepted reservation, you could leave a filter here that says number of guests. That says, let's say more than four. Let's say it's, you know, you have a two bedroom, right? And then you could send a note to your cleaner. Say, this is the cleaner's email, for example. And you're gonna say, you know, please make sofa bed or guest name here or something like that. You can say, hi, cleaner. Please make the sofa bed for the guests check in at check in time. And as they will have more than four guests. Something like that. Another really useful way to use filters is to be able to do it on your custom fields. So let's say you want to provide a whole nother set of check in instructions or messaging. Um, in another language. Let's say, for example, you have a property in Mexico, and uh, sometimes you have Mexican guests coming in, and you want to be able to write to them in Spanish. So you might come here and say, at the new accepted reservation, let's say you want to do a check-in. You go to language here, and um, this is the custom field you set up, and let's say they're speaking Spanish, right? So you would you would flag this filter as you do the inquiry and reservation process. Then you might say to the guest, on the platform, you know, like, hola, guest. And then I actually don't speak Spanish, so you'd write whatever reading you would want to write here. There's a really great way to use automated messages and the powerful capabilities of Fantastic's Day. And this concludes the automated messages section.